what we can consider is how do you think, what are the various ways that you put things together in your mind? Are you a visual person or are you a word person or are you a sound person? A person who smell and create by that? Are you able to, do you take other people's ideas and uh, make them yours, or you just um, simply just take other people's ideas. All these things are important to look at and understand the way that you think, that you conceive and bring these various concepts together. Because a lot of us don't fully understand how we think, and it's and we sometimes we just do things. And we just expect them to work, not fully understanding that we've got to be able to go through, not necessarily a process, but a pathway to develop something that's going to be working for us. At the end of the day, whatever we do, we've got to understand that it has to work for us, for me, for you in a way that is understandable for me and for you. So, but what a lot of people are doing nowadays is that we are just copying somebody point blank and not making the adjustments that's needed to make it personal to them. And then we're wondering, why isn't this working? You know, it's just like, uh, and did a short business course, just a refresher to just to remind me uh, on some basics of doing business. And one thing the guy mentioned was that the person was teaching the course was that it has to be yours. It has to be personal to you. So there's no point somebody starting a a video editing business. Well, one, they don't have no experience in video editing. Two, no interest in it. They've got no equipment. And they can't be bothered to uh, stop videoing or editing content to get into the business. So just off trying. So there's, there, there needs to be some connection in what we are doing and how we are doing it. And if we know the reasons why and how, it all helps and it makes things a lot more easier as we go down that path. Because as we go down that path, there will be challenges, there will be at times obstructions, whether made by ourselves or by other people or things or just life in general. We need to know that we have the potential to overcome these challenges and come up with solutions that will work for us. And again, what we sometimes we fail to understand is that all things are not meant to be, we're not meant to work out. We are meant to meet roadblocks. We are meant to sometimes fall flat on our face because by doing that, we learn one, how to get back up. Two, how to navigate those um, challenges that we've met. And we understand that we have got to be flexible in how we are prepared to work out what we are wanting to achieve at the end of the day. There has to be an end goal, an objective. There has to be that the golden pot at the end of the rainbow. By completing this, I will become this thing, this person, my ideal person that I'm wanting to be. But between now, between the start and that achievement of reaching that gold pot at the end of the rainbow, there's, there's something in between that I have to go through. And how do you think is something that you have to be prepared to do, you know, do the actual thinking. And the thinking is not just 
you know, you're, you're sitting in, in the pose and contemplating and you're doing um. No, it's much more than that. You may have to do some lots of reading, um, watch a video, take a course or two, you know. And the funny thing is, sometimes the very courses that you're taking may not directly be of help to you straight away. And you'll be thinking, why did I spend this money? But later on, it may, um, something in that course that you study will come to your aid and suddenly the lights will turn on in the house of your brain. So we have to be prepared to sometimes take a detour to get back onto that main path that we are wanting to to see come into fruition. It's at times it can be very frustrating and very challenging to deal with things. You know, and the and you will come across so many things, you know, of uh, people telling you what to do and who you are. But at the end of the day, you have got to listen to yourself, you know. Learning how you think, you know, it will come about by you understanding uh, who you are. And you might have heard this so many times, you know, you know is who are you? you know, by understanding who you are, and, you know, the things you like, the things you don't like, the places you like to go to, the places you don't like to go to, the foods you like, the foods you don't like, you know, the books you like to read, the books you don't like to read, or you, you don't like reading books full stop, but you like listening to audio books. All these things make a picture of who you are, an understanding of who you are and why you are wanting to do something that you maybe have not done before or something that you have done before but you didn't do very well because you didn't have the understanding or the knowledge that was required for you to complete and to be successful. So. There's not necessarily a, a time scale as such, or you know, you have to do it before you know you reach a certain age. All that matters is that you get it at whatever age that may be. You know, you know, how do you think? You know, how to think, and why do you think in this way? And is this way what you're doing? Is it? profitable or is it just something that is straining you and you're becoming mightily miserable and you're making everybody around you miserable because you're not understanding how you're thinking and why you're thinking this way so you sometimes you have to be prepared to go through that pain of learning that some things are not necessarily the right things for you. It may be right for somebody next to you or your friends or your family members, but for you, it may be totally wrong. And you've got to be prepared to accept that and say, you know what, let me explore something that's going to be right for me. And finding out that, that's going to be the adventure. And the the thing about it is when you are fighting to get that foothold, the, 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 the strangest thing is you may already know the answer. That's the most annoying thing about it is, is that you may already know the answer but you're fighting to do anything about it because by doing so, you're revealing that you're mindset, your thoughts, your dreams are not like anybody else. They are unique to you. And guess what? They are meant to be unique to you and nobody else. You know, and myself, I've 
gone through so many different um, careers and done various things and I've, some things I've really enjoyed and there's some things I have absolutely disliked. And the funny thing is, some of the things I've been really good at is the things I really disliked because it wasn't the thing I really wanted to be doing but I was just capable of doing it and doing a good job, a very good job of it, but it wasn't what I really wanted to do, you know, and people would say, oh, you're so good at this job, you're, you know, or you've got a real knack of doing this, that, or the, but I had no real interest in it. I didn't want to be doing it, but it served a purpose at that time and moment, and really what I wanted to be doing, it was something, you know, to the right of me two steps away. So the, the understanding and the focus of how do you think is so important and you've got to be prepared to accept that and just not just accept it but accept who you are you know because who you are you are going to do things that is going to be so unique to you you know, it's your own unique fingerprint of who you are in life. And, you know, I remember saying this to, even to my sister, you know, she's a fantastic fashion designer, you know, and I said, I mean, you know, I said to her, you know, the funny thing is, in fashion, you know, there's only so much you can do in fashion. Everybody has got two arms, a pair of arms, a pair of legs, you know, a trunk, you know. The human anatomy hasn't changed. He hasn't developed a third arm, as far as I know. But yet, in the fashion industry, you'll find hundreds, if not thousands, of fashion designers who have a unique slant on a on a design of a dress or a suit or something or a knitwear that is unique to them. And I'm sure some of us who can spot certain brands, certain designs because of their own unique design and the cut of the material that is unique to them. So I reckon that once we learn how we think and why we think in this particular way, it will become that unique signature of our own. It's just like, I dare say, many years ago when people used to sign for things, and some places do sign uh, for things, or some people, or some places, some countries have a special seal that they use for official documents. And those seals, those signatures, are unique to that person. We have to be prepared to find that unique seal to our own life and be prepared to explore it. It's not a situation that is, that is easy, but it's a situation that we need to do. Because many of us, and I've met so many people over the years, who's gone through life hunting and roaming, going to this special course, spending X thousands of pounds upon courses that hasn't necessarily given them what they want or have given them the urge to be prepared to make those changes in their life. Even though they need, they know they need to make a change. You know, they need to make or additional income or make a lifestyle change to accommodate their health. But they never found felt the need to do so. There wasn't that urgency. You know, so we've got to be prepared to know how do you think, what is it that you would like to think on. You know, so many things. Are you a morning person or a night person? You know, do you like to do things first thing in the morning or later on in the afternoon or, or again at night? 
understanding all those components are important to the whole picture of who you are you know and again as I said already majority of the time we know the answer but we're fighting to face the answer the solution and to do the work you know again this is where the honesty has to come in and uh, being prepared to you know just to face what is it in. it takes for you to know how do you think so this is just a spontaneous little rant I suppose uh, because I've come across so much of this and it's the beginning of the year we, you know, we're heading into February now and lots of questions have been asked and people maybe are thinking about you know are they going to go through this another 12 months of the same thing from last year and make it a repeat of this year or are they going to be prepared to make that transformation and to know how do they think how do you think now, what are you prepared to do to change your your process and what and your viewpoint of life? You know, because many times we are for some of the things that we do, you're not supposed to be doing it, even though that you can do it. Doesn't mean you should be doing it. You know, or sometimes people will stay in the country because they can't be bothered to get a passport. But if they had the passport and they could travel, their life may suddenly change into something so incredible, they'd be shocked. And they'd be thinking, why didn't I do, why they do, why they didn't do this before? And it's because you couldn't be able to get a passport. So be prepared to take a long, hard look and do something about it. The most simplest thing, smallest step, could revolutionize your whole life. But start, I suppose, by how do you think? Why do you think this way? Get a sheet of paper or a pad, you may need a pad, or on your computer and just go through it. Now, if you want any help, I'd be, I'm here to help. And so you, you have my contact details down below. But I suppose this is the year that could be the year that of transformation and where you can really break out you know, and do something that's going to be really worthwhile doing. Anyway, as I said, this was just a unplanned thought and rant. Uh, as you can see, I've not made a video as such, <clears throat> but it's just something that came to mind, so I've made a quick audio instead. Anyway, until next time, take care.